So, Peter, what's on the horizon for monoclonal antibodies? What's new? What do you expect to be coming up the pike? That's a great question. And I, I can think of a couple of areas where I think monoclonal antibodies still have to be defined in their use. Uh, the first one is still for the inpatient population. Uh, we still don't know the utility of the monoclonal antibodies for those that are actually hospitalized for COVID-19. Uh, there was the data from the recovery trial that seems to show that there are certain sub-segments of patients that may have benefit, uh, but that hasn't taken mainstream yet. We're still not allowed to give the monoclonal antibodies to hospitalized patients. And so I think the studies are ongoing, and there's lots of uh, different studies that are ongoing to ask this specific question of those that are hospitalized and determine if we should be infusing the monoclonal antibodies to them at all, either as a group or maybe finding certain subsets that we need to be giving it to. The other big question of the monoclonal antibody, I think, that is really coming down the pike is the pre-exposure prophylaxis. Uh, there's a lot of data now that supports a post-exposure prophylaxis, but for the pre-exposure, for those that have been vaccinated and aren't doing well with the vaccines, where they don't mount immunity, such as the solid organ transplants, those with HIV, uh, elderly patients, um, some of them just don't mount immunity with the vaccines. And obviously, there's still some vaccine hesitancy. And so for those at high risk that either don't want to get the vaccine or got the vaccine and, and do not mount an immunity, should we be giving them monoclonal antibodies as a pre-exposure prophylaxis to give them that passive immunity and prevent them from getting that severe disease if by chance they were to get infected? And so there's a lot of studies that are uh, have been published as well as as ongoing of this specific population. I think that's where we uh, need to define its use. I think so. And I think there are a lot of questions uh, out there with our immune suppressed patients, especially uh, those immune suppression uh, medications like rituximab that really affect antibody production. How can we best protect those patients? And once monoclonal antibodies are given uh, individually, how long do they hang around? And what kind of uh, downstream response with the immune system do they affect? 